Okay, now getting an update uh, from uh, some of our other reporters. Let's take you live now to the Bloemfontein Results Centre. That's where you'll find my colleague Maseko Zaklaka. Uh, Maseko, you're in fact in the hometown of the former Premier who we just heard from here at the Results Operations Centre, Ace Makashule. How have results in that province so far been looking? Well, Michelle, we're 90% complete uh, in the free state, actually just over 90%. We're left with around 9.22% to finish, uh, to complete with all the capturing of all the stations around the free state. Um, the ANC is still leading, followed by the DA, the EFF, and then the FF+. Plus. Um, they, the IEC in the province had had a briefing, Michelle, about two hours ago or so, um, where they updated us about their issues. We don't have, uh, you know, a lot of issues in the free state compared to what's happening there where you are. Uh, there are not a lot of issues uh, provincially here, but I'll go to um, the IEC in the free state, in the free state spokesperson, uh, Matabo Rasengani. Um, Aus Matabo, thank you for joining us. You're live on ENCA. Of course, we haven't had any um, major incidents in the free state, as you said earlier, but can you clarify that issue that was brought to you by political parties about that uh, ballot box uh, that was apparently found um, in Valko? Well, that ballot box was in Velkom in Ritz Primary School. It was just trash that was thrown in there, unused material completely. It had nothing to do with ballot boxes because MPLCs in that region were called, the SAPS was called and the IEC staff was there to open that ballot box so that we can verify what is there. So we only found that it is unused rubbish that is there. And of course, there were those issues that were brought up, for instance, um, Ausmatabo, about ballot papers uh, that were not enough. I think you also clarified that a bit earlier. Um, what happened in instances where you found that there were not enough ballot papers at certain stations? Well, we don't keep all the ballot papers in stations. The area manager will always have buffer stock as and when they are about to finish. They inform him and he will come to supply the remaining or the buffer stock that he has. We still have a lot, even at our warehouse, they've rolled out a lot. So it was a situation where people panicked, I suppose, but ballot papers were there and they were ready to be delivered and supplied to them. Thank you, Osma Tabo. Now, I know I've got a few seconds left. I just want to show you, uh, uh, the, the IEC says that they were praised by different political parties in the province about how they did things um, compared to uh, nationally. And I have Kilebu Khile here. She's from Sacro 4SD. Um, Mama, is it true that you guys are happy with how the IEC has performed in this province? Yes, we are generally happy, not completely, but we are generally happy with how the IEC did um, their work in this province. Now 0.03%, are you happy with that? I'm definitely happy with that. We have a lot of work. We are completely a new political party. And being a new political party, we had four months to work. Um, we're happy because at least um, there are 0.03% of the nation who feels that we can, we, they, they are for us. So. Thank you so much, Auskile Bukhile. Well, there you have it, only 0.03%, but they only started four months ago, so they can take that.